this is Jay, and here is my altered book. Um, I found a paperback, The Language of Flowers, uh, a novel, fiction. Um, I didn't actually read that because I'm more interested in making stuff. So here's the cover with this uh, old-fashioned doily, uh, ribbon roses, some bows, and here's another size of the... Um, the cover of the book. I have a lot of fun with my copy machine and I didn't want to waste it. So it's a gutted book. I took everything out and put my own stuff in there. So here's the book and it's just tied in here on some ribbons and uh, oh, okay here's a butterfly shaped doily on the inside and over on this side I have tied in three small mini journals see here's another size of that of the, the cover of the book just some scrap paper and um, I have all the strings dangling because I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to finish that off add some charms or something. Uh, this one is a white envelope that's been uh, dyed with uh, Diet Cola. I, I like that. Uh, I think the recipe is always going to be the same so I get consistent. Um, now this is uh, the Language of Flowers coloring book from Dover Publications and I just um, cut out uh, the copies from the it's a, you know, it's a paperback. It's not a hardback. So here's all the colored illustrations and then lots of blank paper on the other side. Sewn in. And that's too loose. But, and then uh, this is an envelope. And so in the pockets here is more of the coloring book pages that I um, copied at probably a quarter percent maybe 50. So in the back here's another pocket with some more of those flower illustrations. So I don't know what else to tell you. Um, uh, the book is uh, six by nine and by three inches spine. So with these little mini journals in, it's, um, it's not too thick.